All right, so here's another question uh, here. Do they practice uh, baptism, baptismal? If so, what methods do you do? Tell us about the satanic baptism. It's done with fire and not water. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there would be a, can, a, a circle of candles around the person. Um, the person would be lying down on the floor on a pentagram. And then from the five points of the pentagram, we would... Um, bless this person as the congregation with all gifts. So on the one point of the pentagram, it would be all riches, all money that you deserve in this life. From the other point of the pentagram, we will bless this person with all talent, all your gifts and talents. From the other point, it will be from all intellectual ability. So, And then from, let's say, another point, it will be Everything that gives you joy in life, may it come your way and may you forever know the fruits of the joy that the earthly life have to offer. So that's how we would do a satanic baptism. And it's only for over 18s. So we don't we don't do any um, satanic rituals or rites of passage involving children or anybody under the age of 18. So like the Christian church, do you go through a baptism class or something? Or you just no, uh, Bible. Um, it is in the Satanic Bible. It, it, it is contained there in how to perform it. From uh, Dulce, she said, uh, what is the background of this? Is it African traditional worship like San Goma? So it, a lot of people are confused, like a lot of stuff, like you say in talking to the dead, uh, you know, because we have a lot of, you know, African tradition, San Goma and all that, they do that. Uh, it seems like you share ideas between African tradition religions and Satanism, is that true or not? No. No. Satanism is the very carnal way of living, the way that's always been nat natural to men. So for me, I would say it's the original religion. 